Art Prize in full swing now. Groups of people filling the streets and the venues downtown, taking in the art and the atmosphere after two years away. Artists are excited to see how their art will do, many of them eager to see if someone likes it enough maybe to take it home. We're going to introduce you to many of these artists throughout the course of Art Prize. And Susan's outside the Media Arts Center right now talking to one artist about her message. Sue? Brian, it feels so good to be back downtown again for Art Prize. And yes, we are talking to one of the artists displaying their artwork this time around. It's Nina Cruz. Nina, thank you for joining us. Yes, glad to be here. Uh, now, this has been quite a quest for you because you were here for Art Prize a few years ago and you were inspired. I was. I was here in 2018 just sort of checking everything out and looking at all the artists and all the art. Um, and I enjoyed it and I thought I wanted to be a part of it the next time it happened. Right. It took a while, didn't it? It did, absolutely. Uh, a little longer than expected, but we're here. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. us a little bit about your piece. My piece is um, probably the largest piece I've ever done. It's seven and a half feet by seven feet and it's all done in wood stain. And we're calling it Grace and the, the Atlas, Atlas Moth. Moth. Yeah. And it's in wood stain. That is interesting. I, I don't know that I've seen a lot of work done with different wood stains. And in looking at your piece, it is so intricate in how you utilize that medium. Tell me more about what inspires you to use wood stain. Uh, I've used wood stain all of my life, but mm -hmm. never as a painting medium. And okay. then um, some years ago, I just had an idea of perhaps I was redoing, repurposing like some for a door. And yeah. I thought, I want to see if I can use wood stain as a medium. I looked to see if anybody else was doing it, if they had cracked the coat on it, and I yeah. didn't. I figured, why try to re, you know reinvent the wheel? <laughs> and I couldn't find anybody who was using it exactly the way I wanted to use it as a right. painting medium with a brush. And so I had to sort of invent in my own techniques. Are you inspired by the Atlas Moth? Tell us more about the meaning behind this piece. Uh, the Atlas Moth is one of the largest in the world. It's yeah. about 12 inches uh, in wingspan. So in compared to human hand, it would probably cover your hand. Okay. But in my piece, I did sort of like a metaphor where the hand couldn't possibly be from this world, couldn't be human because the hand is a lot larger than it should be in the piece. And that's so that people can sort of reflect on them being the moth. You would have to sort of see it and take mm. it in. It's like you're, you're the moth in the piece right? because you're here for a very short time. The moth only lives about a week and then it's gone. Interesting. So it, it's sort of a, an experience that you want the viewer to be able to stand there and kind of absorb the whole meaning behind it as well. Yeah, I understand that we're here for a short time, but just like the Atlas Moth, you can spread your wings and give the world the greatness that you have to offer. Now, where can we find that piece? That is at MCC on the North Path. It's uh, Monroe Community Church, and they're okay. right on Monroe. Um, and they actually are a new facility this year. They've been part of Art Prize like forever, mm -hmm. but this year they have a brand new facility, and uh, so we're really excited actually for everyone to see their new their new digs. How's your experience been so far now that you're back? Um, I think it's great. You know, I think everybody's trying to stay safe, and everybody's cooperating. And um, there's obviously a lot of activity all over town, sure. you know, as usual. So that's normal. Um, but it just started, it just kicked off today. So we're just excited to see people come in and experience it and take it in and uh, be a part of it. Fortunately, there's a lot of people downtown already on day one. Everyone's so anxious to get back out and enjoy Art Prize again. Welcome to Grand Rapids and good luck with your piece, Nina. Thank you so much. Thank you.